Hello people from the future, welcome to Normalize Nerd. So today I am continuing with my video series about how to implement different machine learning algorithms using scikit-learn. In this video I am going to talk about how you can implement logistic regression on any of your data set using scikit-learn. Now before starting, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. I make videos about machine learning and data science regularly. So, I have actually done a video about logistic regression where I have actually explained every bit of detail of this algorithm. So if you uh, really want to go deeper into the mathematics, so I will highly recommend you to check that video first that will be appearing in the cards right now. Otherwise, if you are only concerned with the implementation part, then continue with this video. However, I'm going to give you a small introduction about logistic regression anyway. So the logistic regression is actually the simplest kind of binary classification algorithm that we currently have. So the basic idea is suppose you have a data set here like that and the data set contains two types of data points that I have represented using different colors green and red. The green is actually one and the red belongs to the zero class. Now you can see that what we would like to do here we actually want to draw a straight line that can actually differentiate between the two classes and in this picture down there you can see that I have actually drawn a line which is differentiating the two classes so if a new data point comes in then I will be saying it belongs to a red class if it is lying on this side of this line and the green if it is lying on this side of the line now in real life it will be also helpful if we can get some kind of probability of a point belonging to a certain class so uh, let me give you an example suppose a new data point appears here and other new data points appears here so you can clearly say that the probability of this data point belonging to a red class is much higher than the probability of this data point belonging to the red class so to incorporate this idea of probability we actually use a nonlinear function which is called the sigmoid function here so that is the basic idea of logistic regression that our model will return a probability of a new data point belonging to a certain class now as it is a binary classification we will be having only one probability and suppose the probability of this point uh, comes out of our model as 0.99 uh, so we will be saying that there is a 99% chance that this point belongs to the red class and there is a 1% chance that this point belongs to a green class so I hope the idea of Logistic regression is clear. Now let me just go through some of the mathematical details here very quickly. So we want to find this line and this line can be denoted as w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w0. Now you can see that it is a, for a formula of a line in two dimensions and this w0 is actually the bias term and uh, this w1 and w2 are actually the weights corresponding to x1 feature and x2 feature so if we can find this w1 w2 w0 we will be able to draw a line that will be classifying our two classes now our model the h of x is actually this thing okay and x is actually the vector representing uh, x0, x1 and x2 well x0 is simply here and we can treat x0 as 1 ok now after applying the sigmoid function we will have a number which lies between 0 and 1 and let me just remind you the sigmoid function again quickly the sigmoid functions look something like that this is the 1 and this is the 0 and this is the z and sigmoid of z so no matter how large our h of x is or how much low our h of x is is will never go outside of this 0 1 boundary okay so that's how we can actually get the probability of a certain point belonging to a certain class now the loss function we use in our logistic regression is called binary cross entropy which looks something like that again I am saying that I am not going into the detail of this thing you can find the detail in my previous video and after just applying gradient descent we will be having this line and we are going to implement this concept of logistic regression in scikit-learn now 
so let's jump into the code section so here's my Jupyter notebook and obviously I'm gonna first import the two great libraries numpy and pandas and after that I am reading the data set now this data set is actually concerned about male fertility so what the researchers did is they found uh, 100 volunteers and they collected their semen and the goal of this project is to predict whether the semen is healthy or not healthy based on some parameters like uh, the season age of the volunteer if he has any disease or he has been into some accident or he has an ac surgery or fever the alcohol intake the smoking habit and sitting hours so the researchers thought that uh, these parameters can actually have an effect on the quality of the semen now you can see that the last column is actually the diagnosis and it contains the values n and o and let me tell you that n refers to a normal sample and o refers to an abnormal sample okay so this is basically a binary classification and i will definitely gonna link this data set in the description so definitely check that out now i would also like to mention that this dataset actually contains uh, 100 data points which is not a very good number to do data science on but I have choose this dataset because the features are already normalized so I don't need to worry about that part here so I can quickly go into the implementation of logistic regression so that was all for the dataset part now after reading the data I have just printed the data using dot head method from pandas after that I am uh, taking the X matrix as the matrix of features which will contain these values all the parameters and the Y vector will contain the last column that is the predictions okay now uh, you can see that the Y vector actually contains categorical variables and to do machine learning algorithm and to apply machine learning algorithm we actually have to encode them into numerical ones so I am using the level encoder of scikit-learn and after fitting it on the Y, we will be getting the corresponding encoded levels of the categorical variables. After that, we are gonna obviously split our dataset into training and testing. And as it is a very small dataset, I have actually used a test size of 15%. And the random state I have taken as 5. If you want to get the exact same result, then you can apply this random state. And now comes the logistic regression part so the model so the module I am using from scikit-learn is linear model so from scikit-learn library I am using the linear model module and I am importing the logistic regression class and then I am defining an object of this class by the simply this syntax and my model I have referred here is classifier and the classifier equal to logistic regression and here you can see that I have used a parameter class weight well uh, why we need to use that now if you gonna look into this data set you will find that this data set is not balanced so what does it mean for a data set to be balanced if the frequency of the two classes are similar then uh, we say that okay this data set is balanced but if the frequencies are not similar then it is unbalanced and you can see that in our data set there are a very few number of abnormal semen so obviously the one the frequency of the class one is way lesser than the frequency of class zero that's why i have uh, used the parameter class weight to make our data set somewhat balanced so that our logistic regression model can learn better from our data set so after that I am using the dot fit method for the training purpose and obviously we need to pass the X train and Y train here and after running that you will get that thing and it will be showing you all the details of your model now at last we will be just predicting it on our white thread now here I am using the dot predict method and obviously I'm going to pass the X test now to show how good or how bad our model was I am using the confusion matrix and this can be imported from the sklearn.matrix module and after that we just have to pass this 
whitest and white red in the confusion matrix and you can see that here I have got this 8412 so you can see here that there are some false positives and false negatives so our model has not performed that well but again this video was just to show you how to implement logistic regression using scikit-learn so I hope that you have learned that how you can do that and you can apply this on your bigger data sets and can apply in various kinds of problems so that was all for this video I hope you liked that video and if you enjoyed this video please like this video share this video and subscribe to normalize nerd thanks for watching Thank you.